another episode of Mako Mondays. And I am Lidiani Mako, your small business CRM coach. We help small business owners to select and implement CRM systems. And today I have Suzanne Baker here with me. So Suzanne, why don't you introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Suzanne Baker and I'm a CPA in Denver, Colorado. And I specialize with very small businesses um, and I've been working with Leedy for a while and she invited me to come on her show and I'm very excited, so thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you for joining us, uh, Suzanne. So, I met Suzanne because we use a cloud-based accounting system called Wave Apps. I found out about Wave before I started my business at the time I was doing research on all kinds of cloud-based systems for a small business. And when I started a business, I said, oh, I really like this one. After a few years using it, I decided to find someone who understands a little bit more how Wave works, and that's how I found Suzanne. And she has, ha has been helping us the last couple of years. So Suzanne, can you share with us a little bit more about Wave as a company? How did they come into existence, and what is unique about them? Well, I think Wave is actually very unique and if you go onto their website and you actually click through some things you can find out some of the history of Wave and I'm one of those people who do a lot of research on something that I'm going to use and um, if you look at the information on the website they actually tell you that Wave was developed by the Canadian government and they developed it specifically for small businesses. I have used QuickBooks in the past, I've looked at uh, FreshBooks, I've looked at a lot of the other ones. And the reason I like Wave so well is that Wave is simple enough for the business owner to use themselves. It, it just makes sense to you. You can go in and you can start looking at the system and you can set up your own invoicing in a matter of minutes, not hours. You don't have to be an accountant. You don't have to know all of the debits and credits. So what happens with Wave is that if you have someone that helps you set, the, set it up the right way and you just get a little bit of help on it, you can maintain a lot of it yourself. And so I'm a huge advocate for smaller businesses and I really like the thought of having small businesses have their own ability to do their own books. The other past life I've had is I was a certified fraud examiner. Oh yeah. And one of the things that I found in doing that and in some of my work is that so many business owners don't get involved in the keeping of their own books. And so if they don't do that, they set themselves up for all sorts of risks. And so I think that Wave is really great because it allows you to do a lot of it yourself or for you to understand exactly what's going on. And Well, you've seen it. You, yeah. you know how to track yeah. transactions exactly. and you know how to look at that. You, you can see a, um, just a snapshot of how you're doing and say, wait a minute, something doesn't quite look right. And so that's, that's the beauty of it. And it's free, but even if it was not free, okay, I still think it's a great system. And I only use Wave in my, in my business. Um, I have clients that have come over from uh, QuickBooks and now they're on Wave. So I counsel clients when they come in and we'll go through a checklist. There's maybe like one in a hundred people who don't qualify for Wave and I won't go into that now, but, but most people do use Wave and they really like it. It's, it's, yeah. a, it's a very, very good system. Yeah, when, when I was researching it at the time, uh, it was very clear that they're targeting small businesses with zero to nine ten. employees yeah, yeah, to ten right. employees yeah. and more service-based businesses, which align with the the small business owners that you target, right? Exactly, so exactly. Do you want to talk a little bit about the three types of businesses that you work with most of the time? Yes, and, I, and I'm and i unique in the accounting world because I really do work with very, very small businesses. Some of my businesses are crafts 
people who make $500 a year, you know, so, uh, and, and I love them. They're some of my greatest clients. Uh, so I work with craftspeople, I work with artists, I work with consultants, and I work with people who have rental property. And so a lot of those are very, very small businesses. That's the only, you know, thing that they have going. It's, a lot of them don't have employees, um, but Wave works really well for them in that in that regard, and yeah. and it's something that that I have I have never had someone who found Wave and didn't think it was successful and wasn't the right thing for them, and I think that's a lot to say. Yeah. I think that's a lot to say on that. Yeah, yeah, and and you might be asking, okay, so how do they make money? They do get a cut of the transaction. Uh, when you accept your payments through WAVE. And it's not different than the, the amount that you have to pay for your payment processors though. If you go through PayPal, for example, you need to pay three to 5% for the transaction. In WAVE is 2.9% and if you accept bank payments, it's only 1%. So, and they have connection with several banks here in the US. Now, let's talk a little bit about CRM. So you just went through our CRM online course. It was great to have you as part of our pilot. So how was your experience? Um, it was great, first of all. It, it, was, it was really great. I actually, when I started my business, I did a lot of research too, and I found that I really needed to get um, customer relation management system, CRM. And so I got one, and I put it in, and I used it somewhat, okay. But I really realized that I was not utilizing it to its full potential. So when Lady told me she was going to have a class. I I jumped at the opportunity <laughs> to work with her, and it really opened my eyes on, you know, exactly what I could do with it. And I and I have to be honest with you. I I think that a CRM system is probably the most important system that a small business has. And I know we were just talking about your accounting system. There are a ton of accounting systems out there, but. You know, in your accounting system, you track your revenues coming in. If you don't have revenues coming in, there's nothing to track. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, a CRM system is so critical because that's your future clients. That's your future money coming in. And so I, I think if, if someone is going to be spending their time and money and efforts on and really finding the best system to fit in with their business, the CRM system is the system that they really need to be focusing in on. I really believe that. I really like what you said because it's aligned with a lot of research that uh, once you get started in business, your revenue is gonna come from your clients. So as you're building your book of clients, tomorrow's revenue is going to most likely come from them. It's 60 to 70% chance that you're going to get more business from your existing client than you would get from a new client. And for you to be able to keep marketing for them and sending them relevant information, you need to have that organized in the CRM system. So I agree. I think you, you could not have, I could not have said it better. Well, and I think the other thing, and this is coming from a, a CPA because I'm, I'm very concerned about records management. That's one of my, that's one of my biggest concerns. And I think as, as a CPA, I'm looking at it and I'm looking and saying, I, I need to really make sure that I have connected all of those records for that particular client. Um, from both the client's perspective that I'm not having to have them resend information or that I forgot to connect a piece of that or that I um, am charging them again for something that I already did. So I think the whole connectivity of those records is, is extremely important. And I think that from a risk management standpoint that that is an important piece that any type of professional, I don't, I don't care what you're doing, you can be sued in this day and age. So 
making sure that you have all that information and that you have that connected by that client is good for the client and is good for you yeah. because yeah. It, it builds a better relationship and a tighter relationship so that you know what each other's doing and you become more of a team member when you're working together and that's what that collaboration is all about. Yeah, and it's and small business is so collaboration based yes, too. Yes. So it's so part of the small business culture in general. So I agree. One of the recent researches that I came across, it's from Insightly actually, and they mentioned that uh, CRM users have reported a decrease in thirty percent of admin tasks after they started using a CRM. What do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what I found out in your class was that you know your class was going into you can do this and then it transfers over here and you use this system to merge these records together and I'm going oh man I've been doing all of this myself no wonder I've been working so hard you know so I think I think understanding that just like just like understanding your accounting system and not you know trying to track the Nat's eyebrow, you know, out of things. Uh, understanding your CRM system and the companion systems that go along with that, I think are critical when you are an entrepreneur and you're out there doing things yourself because so many of these things, you're resp you have the responsibility to do that. And I love your analogy on that, on, on your being able to save time and administrative costs because I always tell my clients, that one of the most limited resources that you have in your business is your enthusiasm. That's really true. Yeah. And once you lose your enthusiasm, it's, it's downhill. Yeah. So anything that you can do that can help you stay motivated and stay upbeat and say, I can do this and I can pull all this together, I think is, and, and that's why I think your CRM is such an important system. Mm -hmm. And I think that really helps you as a business owner to be able to take all those millions of balls that are up in the air and just start putting them into buckets and start putting them into a place where you can put your arms around it and you can feel like you're in more control of it. Do you feel like you're in control of your accounting system? If you aren't, it causes a great deal of stress. If you don't feel like you're in control of your customers and your customer process, that also creates a lot of stress too. Yeah. Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better. <laughs> it's great to have you. If people want to find, find out more about you and how you help them to get set up with Wave Apps, how do we find you? Uh, you can just contact me on my email, which is suzannebaker.cpa at gmail.com. And I also have a very small uh, website called complexbusinessstrategies.com that they can call, that they can connect with me on too. Okay, sounds good. We are gonna have those links down in the notes below. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your network. And if you wanna learn more about CRM systems, check our Compass CRM online course. Okay, go to smallbusinesscrmcoach.com and click, it's the big button, the main page over there. Thank you so much. Bye.